Hey Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to a very special Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to everything about the Summer 2023 update for Haiti that's coming soon in the game. There's actually a lot of stuff. We have a brand new crop, new machine, new products, new animals, and much more. So I'm just going to get started with my game and then I'm going to get right into all the new stuff. So let's see what we can plant. I think I'm just going to go with some, let's see, not the sugar canes because I'm actually good on them. Probably some lettuce. Yes, there we go. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into the new stuff. All right, you guys. So this update is bringing a brand new crop in the game, the asparagus that I already talked about, but I'm just going to do a little recap. So you can have a look at the animation on the left hand side and there's a little field animation on the right hand side. I'm going to say this does look interesting because we don't really have a lot of crops like this in the game. Now, guess what? It's actually a low level crop. This is going to unlock at level 49. It's going to take six hours and the cost of one asparagus is 43 coins and 10 will probably be for like 434 coins. So it's actually a really expensive crop and I think this will be a perfect way to make money for you in the game. Now here are some growth stages for the asparagus. Starting from the very bottom left side, you can see this is how the first stage looks. Not really my favorite, it just looks like all those scattered irregular roots. And then moving on, we have stage number two, stage number three, stage number four. And finally, on the right hand side, we have a fully grown stage of asparagus. And then this means it's ready to be harvested. You can harvest your asparagus and you can start making the delicious new products. So let's check them out too. Okay, so the first product that you'll be able to make with asparagus is this asparagus quiche. It will be ready in your pyumin, unlocking at level 49, the same level as the crop. The ingredients are two asparagus, one cheese, two eggs, and four wheat. The only challenge here is certainly the cheese, so make sure you have a lot of that. The second product with the asparagus is this delicious looking asparagus soup. There are not a lot of ingredients. Um, you're just going to need three asparagus and two cream. Ouch, now that's really a pain. Um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage all those dairy products. It's going to take 60 minutes. Unlocking at level 51, you'll be able to make this in your soup kitchen. Next is the grilled asparagus. Level 67, ready in your barbecue grill. One hour and 15 minutes. Ingredients are five asparagus, three bacon, and one lemon. The only challenge here is just the bacon. The last product that you'll be able to make with asparagus in the game is the breakfast waffles. Um, it's going to take 45 minutes, unlocking at level 119. You'll be able to make this in your waffle maker. Ingredients are two asparagus, two bacon, one plain waffle, and one egg. That's actually a really huge consumption of bacon in this upcoming update, so make sure you guys keep your pigs ready and just keep harvesting them so that you don't run out of bacon while making all these products. Surprise! This new update also brings a brand new machine in the game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You guys know that I love, love, love new machines in the game. So this is a machine that's coming, can you guys guess its name? Well, it's the Omelette Station. Having a look at the design of this machine, it's very dynamic. I love the way that we have so many delicious ingredients all scattered around. You know, there's like the basket of eggs, those kitchen utensils hanging, we have cheese, bell pepper being cut, and of course it's located on a scooter. And we have Mr. Chick Norris at the top working as a brand. So I love how different this machine is, and honestly, I was not expecting this kind of a machine in the game. I hate it always surprises us. I really didn't see this coming, and I also love the fact that this machine is actually on a scooter. It's so cool. Now this is how your omelet station is going to look like once it's fully mastered. You can see the walk sled has like a golden star, and some parts of the machine have also been converted to the golden and yellow color, and I think it looks really, really cool again. Now here's some detail about this new machine, the Omelette Station. It's going to unlock at level 77. It's going to cost you 600,000 coins, and it is going to take three days and eight hours to be built. Now, I'm kind of shocked that they're adding a lot of new stuff for low-level players in this update, because technically their main focus is just on the higher levels, but I'm not complaining. I just love getting the new stuff, and I think this is also good for people that always complain, hey, why well, there's not something for low-level players, we also need something. But I mean, I guess 77 is not really a low-level, it's like a mid-level, so... 
yeah, it's really good for those people. Now let's see what products you'll be able to make with this new machine. Okay, so the very first product is the Colorful Omelette. It's going to take one hour unlocking at level 77. You're going to need two carrots, one bell pepper, two eggs, one cabbage. Extremely easy to make. You're just going to need a lot of eggs, obviously. The second is the Spring Omelette. Unlocking at level 77. This one has to be my favorite because I love greens. Take 40 minutes. You're going to need one butter, two eggs, and two asparagus. Wow, butter again. Oh my god. And the final product is the delicious cheese omelette, level 79. It's gonna take one hour and 30 minutes. You're gonna need two cheese, three eggs, one onion, and two tomatoes. I can already see how difficult this is going to be uh, to be made, and it's also gonna be really expensive. That's a lot of dairy in this update, like literally butter, two creams, two cheese per product. I just hope that I can somehow manage all the dairy products. It's really getting out of hands, you guys. So that was all about the new machine and the new products. Okay, did you see this coming? Of course you did. We are going to be having these cutest baby mutant cats in the game. So on the left hand side, you can see uh, this is the baby brown mutant cat. And on the right hand side, you can see the baby red mutant cat. So these new guests are coming to your sanctuary to complete the meerkat family. How can you get them? Well, as usual, you're going to collect puzzle pieces for them. That's 36 puzzle pieces each for these babies. Now let's see what decos are you going to get with these babies. Okay, so for the brown baby meerkat, you're going to be getting this really gorgeous savannah cactus. I love the color. And you can also have a look at the puzzle book image of this little animal. And with the red meerkat, you're going to be having the dry grass, which I think looks really cool. And this will be like perfect in the sanctuary because it does look like sunburn something. It's just so cool. I really can't wait to have this. All right. And lastly, we are going to be having some new birds in the game. Welcome the herons in the game. So we're going to have two types of herons. We're going to have a tricolored heron and a capped heron that you can see on the right hand side. Ignore the name. I think that's a mistake. It's actually the capped heron. So these birds will be available to you at level 20. The tricolored heron is going to cost you nine cheek vouchers as usual and eight purple vouchers. The capped heron is going to cost you nine cheek vouchers and four golden vouchers. And of course, um, they're going to stay in your birdhouse. You can feed them anything you normally feed your peacocks, your toucans, and all the other birds. They are really gorgeous, but um, certainly this is going to take me a lot of time to get them. You guys know how rare cheek vouchers are. So I'm probably going to have to wait for like another two years to get them. So this just doesn't make me very excited. But I'm happy to see these birds on Greg's farm. So this should be good. Alright guys, so that's all the main stuff that's coming in this new update. Unfortunately, there are no quality of life changes, as many were expecting. It's just a very basic update. You know, we have a new crop, new machine, and um, new animals. They're not, like, very exciting features. Um, but that's not really it. You know that June is Hades' birthday month. Hades is going to be turning 11 this month. And there are a lot of celebrations coming, a lot of decos, events, and so much more. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything about all the new stuff that's coming. I'm sure you guys are going to love it because I'm so, so excited. And I'll definitely be sharing this all with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your suggestions in the comments. Let me know what you think of this update. What did you like the most? Do you like the new machine? Do you like the animals or the crop? And if you don't know, the new update is going to be dropping on 12th of June. So it's not really coming next Monday, but it's actually after the next Monday. So that's going to be 12th of June, the summer 2023 update for Haiti. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.